Well, Dana, man, a bunch of tremendous performances tonight. Some really interesting talent. Yeah, it was, it was a very, very fun night. Fun card. Start with Jacoby. All right. You are an absolute freak of nature. Uh, I honestly can't remember the last time that I saw a talent like this that wasn't in the UFC already. And Cormier's been all over me. And, and Cormier literally said to me, all his years that he's been in the game, he looks at you as like a Habib-type talent. So what can't you do, kid? I'm excited to find out. Welcome to the UFC. Jacoby Smith, welcome to the UFC. All right, my, bo my boy Torres. <laughs> All right, now listen to me, kid. You, Uncle Snoop, Aunt Dee Dee, Coach Larry, Uncle Bebe, Mom and Dad, none of you can disagree with me. You brought a different energy tonight than you did the last two fights. That's how you do it. Get over here, welcome to the UFC. Therese Finney, welcome to the UFC. All right, this next fight, what an incredible, unbelievable fight. And let me just start with this. I already said this to Xavier in the Octagon tonight. Fast, talented, tough, great chin. Much respect to that kid. Xavier, much respect. Don't quit, kid. You keep training. We'll see you again sometime. David Martinez, you're special, man. KO power, takedown defense, devastating leg kicks, unbelievable chin, great heart. But let me tell you what I was really impressed with with you tonight was your fight IQ. Um, in that second round, Xavier came out. He was faster than you. He started picking you apart. You literally changed everything up, started attacking that leg immediately, busted that leg up, got the fight back, you know, where you wanted it. And uh, you are a very fun fighter, and I am excited to see you fight in the UFC. Get over here. David Martinez, welcome to the UFC. All right, Alberto. You were supposed to be here in 2019, got hurt, COVID. You had tons of other issues. You show up here tonight, crazy, fun, Brazilian jiu-jitsu battle. Um, we love the fight. Get over here, you're in. Alberto Montes, welcome to the UFC. All right. This was a fascinating fight, okay? He spent more time rubbing his eyes than punching. <laughs> I don't know if something was in his eye or if that's a nervous tick he's got or what the deal is, but let me tell you this. He's inc incredible head kick, 10-0, 27 years old, six knockouts, two subs, I think you're going to be a very fun addition to the light heavyweight division. Get over here. Dear Nurgajai, welcome to the UFC. Dana, I got to ask you about Therese Finney. So, first fighter in the history of Contender Series to win three fights on the Contender Series. You said a bit there, but it seemed like you were pretty happy to be proven wrong tonight. Yeah, listen, this is an opportunity. And, and I say it all the time. Who are you right here tonight? I saw him fight twice. I didn't love the two fights I saw the, the last time. Tonight he showed up, and, and nobody can not deny he brought a different energy tonight. From the minute he walked out, his interview on the way in, the way he fought, and how he reacted after, he was different tonight. If that guy came the first time, we wouldn't have had to go through this, <laughs> right? You're right. That's it. Like you're right. There you are. I Dana. Thank you so much. We'll see you in Salt Lake. I appreciate your time, Thank boss. You. Thank you. So Jacoby, uh, you just told me a second ago that it was a relief, and I was surprised to hear you, you use that word because, to me, it felt like a foregone conclusion. Why do you say a relief? Uh, I've just been fighting for this my whole life, ever since I graduated Oklahoma State and went on to marry my wife and do all our things we did and get the surgeries, knee surgery, wrist surgery, and just to build up back from that and fight and transfer gyms from AKA to, to Fortis MMA. It just seemed like a long journey and, and we're finally at the end of it. And now it's time to really put on a show and do, do the work. You know, I've been fighting my whole life for this and now I'm ready to change my family's lives. Speaking of your family, we gotta take one more look at their celebration here because it was a thing of beauty. It's amazing to see them behind you. And I know that providing 
for your family is a big reason why you were here tonight, why you battled to be here. How happy are you here to walk out of here with a UFC contract? I'm grateful. I'm grateful for everything. I'm so proud of myself, my family, you know. They've been there holding me back, you know, holding my back up. And, and we all just been waiting, you know. Sacrifices are finally paying off, and I'm just so proud of everything. And grateful for the opportunity, and y'all better watch out for the show. Hey, be ready for big things coming. I think everybody's going to be looking for that Jacoby Smith debut. I can't wait for it. I feel like we know each other by now, my friend. I feel like, we, and I am so happy for you. The joy emanating off you right now. The determination to make this moment happen. What's going through your mind? Man, a lot of things going through my mind, but I am so thankful and blessed that God has given me the opportunity to be able to continue to come on here and showcase my skill sets. And, you know, I always tell people, you know, sometimes I go and speak and I say, you know, sometimes you have doors that close. And... God, sometimes I ask you how bad you want to get through that door. And sometimes he'll give you a sledgehammer. It's like, how bad do you want to get to the other side? And I just felt like for this entire year, you know, been a lot of ups and downs. And I've shown how bad I want to get through the other side of that door. And tonight, I, I had the ability to showcase it. An absolute inspiration. You came back for thirds on that pork chop. Yeah, I came back for thirds on that pork chop. Look, <laughs> we like seconds. Look, we like, the, uh, we like the appetizer. We like the dinner. We also like the dessert, man. So we, we come for it all. But I, I also want to say I want to thank everybody the Ogogi family, everybody that's been supporting me. I forgot to say one, peak kinetic performance, they, strength and conditioning, John and Gannon, the, the, the training that they do to help me out so much was so beneficial for this fight camp. So I want to say thank you to them very much. And just a lot of people throughout my entire life, man. Jones County, great Georgia, you already know it. I love you, Macon, Georgia. That's, my, that, that's where I'm from. All, obviously, always Chattanooga, that's where I live. Grinding, I, I put on for those cities, man. Jones County, you know, that's the county. But Macon and Chat, you know, that's that's my heart. And I thank everybody so much. Therese Fanny, you are a UFC fighter. Congratulations. Yes, well, David, Dana White was singing your praises up here. The fight IQ, the kicks, all of it. How good did it feel to hear Dana glowing about your performance? David, primero de todo, Dana simplemente no se contenía hablando de tu inteligencia ahí durante la pelea, de la manera como peleaste duro. Cuán bueno, lo cuánto bueno es escuchar esas palabras, Dana. Híjole, pues yo creo que era mi, mi objetivo final, que el jefe estuviera contento con mi trabajo y lo logramos. Oh, man, this was, I think this was my final objective. I, the final goal was for him to be happy with my work, and I think we accomplished it. And you made some history tonight. Brother-sister duo, the first brother-sister duo in the UFC. Y haciendo historia ya de inicio, hermano y hermana en el UFC. <laughs> eh, qué padre eh, estar ahí con mi hermana. Eh, yo le prometí, yo le dije que, que le iba a alcanzar, que este, yo iba a seguir todos sus pasos, y bueno, pues aquí estamos cumpliéndolo. Uh, that's awesome. I mean, being here with my sister, I said, listen, I'm going to catch, catch up to you. I'm going to follow your footsteps, and here we are, making it happen. Hopefully we can get you guys on a card together. Congratulations and welcome to the UFC. Such a great job. Go enjoy your contract. Alberto Montes, come on over. Congrats, man. Congratulations. Obviously, Dana loved, loved that performance. Talk to me what about what it's like to hear him sing your praises. Yeah, for me, it's a lot like that. I know I can perform better. I never like come with, with myself, but now I'm in USC, I can do my best. Now you, you're gonna see the, the best Alberto Montes. You got a great team behind you in the goat shed, but you gotta check out this reaction when you got the, uh, when you got the announcement of the contract. <laughs> tore the gym apart. Hey, look, it's a party. That's great, huh? Look, Ryan. <laughs> That's great. I love the oh. shirt. <laughs> Let's go. How soon, how soon can we see you represent Venezuela in the oh, UFC? Yeah, baby. Yeah, it's like, it's a lot for me. Like, represent my country in Venezuela. Hey, um, UFC is a lot. I'm so happy for that. And you were able to keep that promise to your mom. The promise continues. Yeah, that's just the beginning. I always yeah. say, like, when I get in UFC, it's just the beginning of everything. Now you're going to see the best. I can't wait. Congratulations. Yes, dear, you made yourself undeniable with that head kick knockout. How proud will you be to carry that Kazakh flag in the UFC? With that knockout, it was impossible to say how proud you will be to carry that flag of Kazakhstan in the UFC. Поднять флаг – это вообще одна основная цель на мировой арене. Флаг – это наше сердце, наша гордость. Мы для этого и деремся здесь в основном, чтобы поднимать наш флаг, чтобы весь мир увидел и узнали, кто такие казахи на самом деле.
You know, to raise our flag in the UFC is basically the goal number one. That's what we're fighting for. We're fighting here to represent our nation. So for us to come in here and raise our flag in the UFC, nothing could be better than One of the best fan bases in the entire UFC. I'm so excited to call you a UFC fighter. Congratulations. Can't wait to see you make your debut. Thank you so much.